Dr. Jo Rigetti and you're listening or watching Pet Problems Solved, my video and podcast series where I answer your pet behaviour questions. Not sure if you can see here but we've been building a bit of a garden pond here and my chickens like to get down, very nosy, and investigate everything that's going on around it. Michael asked me if it's okay for his dog and cat to drink out of his garden pond. Well, presumably the water in your pond is quite healthy and clean, in which case there's absolutely no problem. But if you're adding chemicals, then I would say, you know, discourage them by having adequate sources of fresh water elsewhere for your pets to drink out of. Of course, a lot of garden ponds are host to frogs, to tadpoles, even to fish. And that it may be those animals or the plants there that are actually attracting your pet. So make sure your pet has lots of other entertainment and then they probably stay away from your pond when you need them to. What's the worst thing about having pets? Sheila asked me that. She said, we've never had a pet before, but the pressure's on from the kids to get one, any kind of pet. Well, Sheila, a study was done many years ago, and I'm sure not much has changed since then, asking people what the worst thing about pets was. And the answer was pet hair. <laughs> so what people find most annoying is the hair that pets shed. Of course, you can buy non-shedding dogs, um, but you do have to get them clipped every so often, which may be rather costly. You can look at pets that don't have hair with birds of feathers, fish don't shed. Um, so it's really looking at your lifestyle that's important. How much energy um, do you have? Don't get an energetic dog if you don't intend to run with them. Um, don't get a cat who's going to meow all night, keeping you awake if that's really going to annoy you. Look at what your kids will do with that pet. Um, but ultimately, probably you're the one that will do most of the work. So make sure it's a pet that you can bond to. Make sure it's a pet that you will enjoy. Make sure it's a pet that fits into your lifestyle. Then there won't be any worse things. Or the worst things will appear absolutely irrelevant. Pet, pet hair. I'm covered in it. It's my fashion. How old is your dog? I had a question asking me, what age should we expect dogs to slow down? Well, Chili Dog is now 11 years old, 11 and a half, and she has slowed down a little. She can still do a, a, a big sprint when she wants to, but in general, she's quite happy to just, you know, lounge around with me, and I'm quite happy to do that too, because after all, I'm getting old too. So generally, we say that dogs are getting towards senior years when they're only seven or eight years old. Of course, many will live twice that long, especially small dogs, but very large dogs of very giant breeds often only live about eight years, nine years. And so they're old, very old geriatric by the time they're seven or eight. So it does depend on breed. It just depends on your individual dog as well. They may have medical conditions. They may have a bit of arthritis going on. <laughs> There's always love, no matter what age they are. <laughs> um, if you have any concerns though, do talk to your vet. And you may need to do things like change their diet up a little bit. They may need less calories or as they're getting really old, they may need more calories again. And they may need specific nutrients and certainly specific medications for any conditions they have. So celebrate your pet when they get to that old age and they start to go grey around their muzzle. You've had them for a long time and they're beautiful and the only problem with them is they don't ever live long enough. Why does my dog eat cat poop? <laughs> Louise in Newcastle asked me that one. Um, this is so common. Um, even my dog, Chili Dog, has been known to do that, given the opportunity. And that's what it is. It's opportunistic behavior. Dogs will eat anything that resembles food. And to be honest, there's still a bit of nutrition in your cat's poop. And so when they come across that sitting freely available, they'll just go for it and eat it. Not all dogs do it. And you know, if everybody's healthy and medicated, it probably won't do much harm, but it, 
you know, nobody wants doggy kisses from a dog that's been eating cat poop. So I'd say get yourself a covered cat litter tray, put the cat litter tray high where your dog can't access it. Just common sense sort of principles of keeping the cat poo out of your dog's sight and smell. And make sure your dog's got an adequate diet too and give them lots of other activities so they're not doing that for fun. If you're enjoying our Pet Problem Solved podcast and video series, why not subscribe to us on your favorite podcast channels or on YouTube? We do post these on social media too, so you can check in on individual problems or watch each of our weekly series. We love having you here and we look forward to receiving your questions. If you have a question for us on your pet's behavior, it doesn't need to be a problem, just any question about pet behavior, please email us at info at petproblemsolve.com.au or check out our website, petproblemsolve.com.au. I'm Dr. Joe Rigetti, Animal Behaviorist. Please take care of your pets.